Rodolfo, if the mind is only the brain, nothing else there, and if the brain is all physical, which I know you believe, and if the physical world is, uh, requires each event to be caused by a previous event and it's a closed system, how then can the mind, which is the brain, which is a closed physical system, have any free will? Okay, so it doesn't. <laughs> so what do we mean? Because we do use free will. Uh, free will is absolutely central in the organization of society. Mm -hmm. if, uh, you don't follow the will, uh, you're part of the law, you're punished, and so on. Okay, so how does it work? Well, uh, I would say free will is an illusion we have. And what is that illusion? The illusion, I put it this way, is the illusion that we have that we are doing what we want to do. The real, what is, the lies behind is absolutely delightful. I can put it differently. Free will is our ability to follow the tyranny of one's own neurons. <laughs> we don't have a choice. But we say we have free will because we actually do what the neurons say we do. Of and course, you're defining that as free will. As free will, as opposed to the tyranny of other people's neurons. Oh, oh, oh. So, so that is a distinction. Oh. If I follow my neurons, I, have, I do what I want to do. This is called free will. If I have to follow the law that I don't like, I'm being sat upon, whatever. Somebody else's neurons are now telling me what to do. So it is the distinction between the intrinsic properties of your brain, what, what you, what the anatomy tells you what you should do, which is, by the way, what you think you are, are wanting to do. Now, Okay, so you can say, well, I understand what you mean, but do you have, do you have an experiment that actually can give you the, that answer? And the answer is, yeah, I did an experiment on myself that I found stupendous. Okay, uh, there is a device that uh, you can put on top of your head that gives you a, a magnetic stimulation that stimulates the rest of the brain. Mm. And one, one of the things one can do is activate the motor cortex. And they put it, put it right here on top, and then when you do, your foot goes inward, let's say. So now, in doing that, uh, I had the distinct suspicion that I was cheating. I knew where it was. I felt the stuff, and then I, I said, "But <laughs> no, I, I feel it. I'm doing it. I feel it. You know, I, I, I know that I'm doing it." You, you felt when you yeah, yeah, sure. Felt I, I felt that yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm, you know, I, 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 it's, it's, I'm doing it. Okay. So the question is, I'm going to show you because you're going to do this stimulus, and I'm going to move my foot outwards. Oh. You stimulate, moves inwards. <laughs> this, oh my God, I changed my mind at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it again. Yeah. So I do it five times, and then I realize that I cannot tell the difference between what I think I'm doing and what is actually happening. Mm. So I said, oh, okay, I understand. Free will and what I want to do is what I know is going to happen. I'm just an observer. <laughs> well, I think this is entirely consistent. And I had no idea what you were going to say, but it is not what most people say. Most people say that the brain is a closed is a physical system, but they come up with some very complicated ways to say that we really do have free will. And, and it just doesn't seem to work. I don't know whether there's some mystical, spiritual, soul thing involved, but if there would be, then maybe you can make up some real free will. I don't know if that's true, but if you're, if you have the mind being only the brain, then you're absolutely right. You are at the tyranny of your own neurons, which are a closed physical system. Right. That's completely consistent. Now, the nice thing about the neuronal systems is that there is not only one point of view. Different circuits have different points of view. Ah. So there is a possibility of you agreeing that laws must be, that you agreeing that ethics must be. And therefore, you can actually utilize those components, those, those particular tyrannies, to be able to live by, because you know that ultimately that would, would uh, 
assure the fact that you will survive. Well, and, and it also goes further than that. If you have these multiple systems, each with their own tyrannies, they're competing with each Absolutely. other in some way. And so you have uh, maybe the illusion of, of, of feeling this competition, so you think you're deciding between them That's in right. some way. Precisely, you got it. <laughs> Point of view. Point of view. And so this concept of free will, then with a, with, a, with a closed physical system of the brain, if that's all there is, is, is an illusion of free will in one sense, but in another sense, it is this complex relationship between different systems in the brain. That's right. That so becomes that, so the I. It is an internal negotiation that becomes the I. An it. internal absolutely, negotiation. Absolutely. Nice way to put it. So, ultimately then, we, we are saying a free will occurs when we know, that is when the system knows what's going to happen, and then it makes it, it appropriates it. It says, I did it. I constructed that music, although it was a fixation pattern, whatever. <laughs> so that is, in fact, what we really mean when we say, uh, I have free will. It's a question of knowing. If you don't know what's going to happen, you say, no, I didn't do it. 